Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do a basket weave on this thing, but before we do, there's been a little bit of a design change. Now, I've been looking at this and looking at this and looking at this, it's like, well, this is, to a certain extent, it'll stretch a little bit and it'll flex a little bit, not enough for me to overlap that curve there and have it look good. So what I'm going to do instead is have the liner just go even with the top about like that and I may put a stitch line in there yeah, that's good I probably will put a stitch line in there just for security yeah. and yeah. this is the color I've come up with this is just um, saddle tan to dye this but for right now we're going to go ahead and do a basket weave stamp on it. What's a basket weave? It looks like it. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and wet this leather. Now when I stamp something like this, when I wet the leather, I like to wet the whole piece instead of just the area that's going to get worked because the water will actually leave like um, like a water stain if you do it the other way. It'll be like a high water mark. Move this down just a little bit. And you don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and wet this. And I'm going to leave it set. Let the water soak in a little bit. And then we'll get to stamping. Alright, before we start stamping on this thing, I do have layout lines on here. I don't know if you can see them all, but mostly there's this line here, this line here, which are my stitch lines, and that's part of my pattern. I just use that, and that marks where my stitch lines go, and the diagonal line across, there goes my belt, across my belt, across my belt, across the middle is the angle that the uh, basket weave is going to sit at and that angle is the same as that's the reason I got my belt here the angle of the basket weave on my belt the reason I do it like that is I've made holsters like this for people before and they come back and say hey can you make a matching belt for that so if I do it at the same angle as my belt, then I've got a pattern to make a belt if somebody wants a belt. So anyway, our first stamp is going to start roughly in the middle of that diagonal line. Now, I just eyeball that line in when I mark it. kind of in the middle and you can see where that first stamp goes next one's gonna go below it I'll show you in a second but when I'm stamping leather generally I go one side tilt it go to the other side not a lot just enough to make sure that I get a good deep stamp And that way, I think it looks a lot better. Oh, that's not good. But you can see how it's coming along that middle line there. Then I build out from there. And once I get a little bit further, we'll be back. Okay, that's got the stamping done. I've got the basket weave in and the border around the side of it. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and dye this thing. It's going to be that color. As long as the color is approved, that's what we're gonna use. We'll see y'all next time.